This episode is brought to you by Pulsar. Did you start it living by yourself? Or, you know, because there's a huge difference of uh, living standards here as well when it comes to the Western world as well. Did you live by yourself when you came back? Or was there peer pressure or society pressure or like a lot of things? Because from all the conversations that we've had, you've always been somewhat of on your own path. Oh, yeah. Did you live by yourself or how did it work? Uh, if you don't mind me What asking. do you mean live by yourself? I, like, I, was, like, like, I was living with my family. You're living with the yeah, family? I, but I, I was with, yeah. I, I was living with mm-hmm. a family, but yeah. even at that age, you know, when I, um, the time I actually completely stopped traveling, traveling, and, and, and just living in Nepal, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't mean the traveling and yeah. the vacations that I take in between. Yeah. I mean, that's a different thing. Yeah. But uh, I, that way I travel quite a bit. Yeah, and, yeah we know. <laughs> even these days, you know, all that. But I really, like, rooted myself. Mm-hmm. And Nepal was only after I got into films. Uh. Rooted myself. And uh, that, too, when my parents were, at that moment, I think they were in New Delhi. Mm. So, so I was... Mm. You know, living there, and then I came here, and then I started doing films. And after my film career took off, then I was completely rooted here. Uh, and then the sense of, <laughs> as my film was accepted, you know, and as I started catering to the general mass of Nepal and mm-hmm. connecting with them and identifying with them, then I was. It was the other way around. It felt like that. This is where I, my roots are. This is where I've been rooted all the time. Yeah. And I felt extremely proud of that. The connection that I had with the general Nepali people living across this country, you know, from east to west to mm-hmm. Himalayas to Tarai and all these people, and I so closely connected with them. They identified with my character. And I like was deeply connected with them. I was connected with their emotions, with their this, and what they valued and what they accepted meant a lot for me. Yeah, uh, made a lot of uh, difference and importance uh, for me. Uh, so that way, I got so rooted in my own culture and mm-hmm. my own country. And and I got to th- thank Nepali films for that. And um, the kind of characters that I did, which was identifiable by the general mass of this country, you know. Mm-hmm. I did a character that was identifiable by the general people, especially the youth of that time. You know, I did films like Bharia, Ek Nambar Ko Paakhe, Bahadur, you know, Allare, mm-hmm. Awara, just representing the underdogs of this country, yeah. you know. And so I couldn't, so my, my film sort of like connected me to the nook and corners of this country. And what I had missed out initially in my growing up days yeah. made it up like hundred folds. And now I feel so culturally rooted I feel so connected with uh, my fellow Nepalis. Mm-hmm. And when I meant by, mean by fellow Nepalis, I mean the Nepalis who represent the culture, the language, the ways of this life. I feel so grateful that through my art, they welcomed me in their heart and they considered me as one of them. So now, I mean, you are a public figure. I don't know how your fans react to you, but with me, it's more like uh, a family member. It's mm-hmm. not like a fan and actor adulation even. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's one of us. You know, wherever I go, the instant connection, the bonding, you know, I love it. And this is like from Himal to Tarai to East yeah. to West and... Right now, I, I, I love being in, in, in the mountains of Nepal, you know. And uh, I, I really, uh, 
it's it's my, my art uh, has opened all that avenues for me, and uh, yeah. now I value uh, uh, the way of uh, life uh, that this nation's diverse culture has to offer. Mm. I uh, love uh, not the the modernized one, but the real organic traditional ones. I love those foods. Yeah. You know, not the modernized version, not the synthetic version or uh, hybrid version. But Palpa go Tsugoni as a meat was. Ah, Tsugoni, Hero, Ya, Ka, Sisno, you know. Yeah. Jumla Kuke, Dal. Marci Chamal. Marci Chamal, you know, all this, you know. And, and they are the best food in the world for me right now, you know. No doubt. And if I get... Uh, and there are so many aspects of uh, the way of life and the culture this nation of, uh, offers is so unique and so great, you know. And um, so th all this uh, uh, I, I, I got through my art. So I, hmm. besides, uh, you know... Being able, being in a position to make film and, and follow my yeah. passion, you know, through cinema. And these are all the byproducts that <laughs> I got, you know. <laughs> the thing is, a lot of young people watch uh, the podcast. A lot of them want to follow their passion. How did your parents take it when you wanted to jump into cinema? Like, how was it, truly? What did dad say? What did mom say? You know, my, my experience tells mm -hmm. me that your parents, your parents mm -hmm. or your guardians, they always want best for you. True. You know, best for you. And they think, uh, and what's uh, what they consider best is something that is um, secured, something that provides you for your rest of your life. They want to see their children or the people they are taking care of to be on a safe path in life. Yeah. You know, something that guarantees them a uh, certain position in society, certain success, certain wealth, you know, yeah. something that guarantees them, you know. Mm -hmm. So they always w would want you to pick uh, the path that has already been proven, mm -hmm. unlike the untreaded, <laughs> untreaded path, you know. Uh, so they just, yeah, I mean, they're all right. They're not, they, they won't tell you just to follow this path. They tell you to follow all the safe paths, whichever path, you mm, know, yeah. like... A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, <laughs> be, a, be a pilot, be a general, or be a businessman, or be a lawyer, yeah, <laughs> or yeah, yeah. be a doctor, yeah. or be an engineer, you know. Uh, this we know. I mean, if you are <laughs> successful in this, this will get you this, you know, like... Yeah, <laughs> it's clear. It's clear. Uh, this one is opaque. <laughs> this one is opaque, yeah. This one is very, very non-transparent, you know, like... Uh, and then not only this, I mean, those days it was uh, this field or media field or sports field or music field, you know. Those are something people did uh, as a hobby. You wouldn't want to do that as a career. Full time. Full time, especially in this country, uh, let's just say. Uh, at least, you know, 25, 30, 35 years ago, it was nothing. I mean, like your, your child is playing a football. It's well and good. Mm. You know, people are saying, oh, what a great footballer he is. And then you're happy. Okay, you are a good footballer. It's all and nice. But do your studies. Become a lawyer. Become an engineer. Become a doctor. You know, mm. this is what you're pursuing. This is all right. You know, you won medals. Good. You represented your school. Good. You're playing the club. Yeah. Good. But this is not what you're going to do for your rest of your life. This is not what going to put food on the table or <laughs> get you. A, I don't know what. A, yeah. a good life. So all these was were feel that was untreaded in our country those days, you know, like and getting into cinema was, what is he doing? I mean, what is he doing? I mean, this is uh, just 30 years ago when I came in, 30, 31 years ago yeah. when I came in. Up to that point, we had hardly made about one dozen films, maybe. You know, because the first film we started making way, way back, yeah. actually. Yeah. The first film was made maybe about 70 years ago. Yeah. But we made our first film 70 years ago, but we were not consistent, you know. Uh, and then we started, make, we were making only very sporadically, you know, like maybe yeah. 70 years ago, first film, maybe you know, another 10 years down the line, mm. second film, you know, f five years down the line, third film. Yeah. So by the time I came into the scene, In we, the had, 90s, yeah. we made maybe about, what, a dozen of films. Yeah. 
And that one dozen film, uh, I ended up acting in the second era of being in the film, you know, in just one year, myself. And, and there were other people who were also making films. Mm -hmm. So that was the scenario 35 years ago of, of Nepali movie field, you know. So, of course, naturally, your parents who want uh, the best for you, you know, they want you to have a secure career, a long-lasting career, and you're telling them, I want to pursue... <laughs> my passion and uh, become an actor in this country. Yeah. So you want to be an actor in Nepal? But they're not making any films. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Give it a shot in Mumbai, maybe, you know? Maybe right, that yeah. would be something different, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, uh, so, uh, so everybody's parents are like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the table has turned around a bit now because now even in acting field or sports field or even music field, mm. now people are seeing examples. Yeah. People are seeing uh, role models. True. Oh, they have achieved this. They have done this. You can do this. And if you get to this, you can reach success. You will have this position in life. Look at this guy in music or look at this guy in cinema. So now I, what I see and which I actually appreciate a lot and, and feel proud of it as well is that now I see the newer generation who wants to get into the field of music or media or sports or cinema. Parents actually feel proud of it and they encourage that and they support and they actually they they have this sense of pride by yeah. saying oh my son or daughter is a great musician or a great uh, singer uh, won this prize or you know like uh, or my daughter is uh, her first film did extremely <laughs> well and she's become uh, a heroine or an actress in, in you know yeah. uh, in, in film you know and they support that uh, so your parents it's it's not when they discourage you to follow your passion, it's only because they think that maybe that is not something that will secure you for the rest mm. of your life. Uh, that is the only uh, reason why maybe I think your, your at least in my case, yeah. your parents or your guardian would discourage you uh, in spite of the passion that you have. Uh, but what a piece of advice, I mean, I can't give advice, but my, my, Why, not? Say, Why not? Why huh? would you say that? Why would you say that you can't give advice? There's no such thing as advice, advice? you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because ultimately, every person, mm. you got to respect every person's uh, intellect and decision power, and the ultimate decision power has to come from the person itself. Advice is advice is come for free. That's how, this is how I take it. Advice is come for free. It depends upon you want to take it I, or not. Mm -hmm. What do you call advice? I call it like sharing my experience. Experience, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to share my experience. So if you uh, and if you want to take something out of yeah. it, if you want to learn it, you know, from it, mm -hmm. and take it as a guidelines, and then ultimately make your own decision. Yeah, that's well and good, you know. Yeah. Uh, but my experience is not the ultimate experience. You know, you can you can take it or discard it. Uh, yeah. it's, it's 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 entirely up to you. Um, you, you, yeah. you 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 should be the master of your own. Soul, <laughs> captain of your own fate. Ship. <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole country wants to know this. Um, you know, I'm not going to ask you this, but uh, I'm just going to say this. How are you going to be as a father? Uh, I love children. Yeah, I'm very good with children. I can instantly bond with children of any age. I wouldn't say any age. I'm not too good with someone who are really, really tiny. Oh, I can't carry them. I'm too scared. Yeah, if it's too <laughs> tiny, I uh, think it's mm. too fragile and I might, you know, yeah, do something, something yeah, wrong yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but yeah, once they same. get to the walking stage or this and that, I can really bond well with, with, with children. So, and I can communicate with children quite well as well. So that way I think uh, I'm, uh, I'm very good with children, but... Uh, a great dad. Fatherhood and, and dad is something, um, if you want me to be honest, uh, yeah. it's just not me. It's actually a mother and I both. It's, yeah. it's, our, it's a mutual uh, agreement or mutual discussion and the 
conclusion that we have reached, at least to this point, yeah. is that um, we're not planning for uh, uh, fatherhood or motherhood uh, or parenthood at this point. Yeah. Uh, so the reason why we don't have children after like almost five plus years of getting married is out of choice, yeah. consciously, conscious decision. And again, this is us, which is can be very weird for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, getting married and thinking in this line that we are thinking uh, may seem unnatural or weird or <laughs> is he gone out of his head or you know mm. uh, kind of thing. But uh, that's w how we have decided uh, up to this point, at least. Yeah. Uh, you don't know what the future holds, so? Yeah, we don't know. Um, I'm young, and Madhu is much younger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the way you put it. I like. I love. I love the way you put it. I love the way you put it. You'd be a great dad. You'd be a great dad. No, I will be. Yeah. Sitting down, talking to you, listening to you. Oh, I yeah. am. I uh, I bond well with children, and I. Uh, Communicate uh, well, and uh, I can uh, engage them. Mm -hmm. That's important. I can engage them. Um, I don't force myself upon them. Uh, yeah. I let it happen, everything naturally. Uh, so I'm good with children. Uh, mm, and keeping this nature in mind... Mm -hmm. Uh, I actually should have been very impatient to be a, uh, be a father, but unfortunately I'm not. Mm -hmm. um, that's all, uh, that's because the way the, the life is, yeah. at least I think, dictating me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm going by that. Uh, yeah, in, in some ways it can also be like a little... Uh, selfish in a way you know some people might think in, in those terms at least to this point because uh, uh, being a father is also like uh, contributing your time energy and everything for another person yeah and uh, living and also living for another person you know and prioritizing another person because that's what father and mother do yeah when they have children, you know. It's no longer you. Yeah, it's it's all about them and yeah. they're in the pr priority. So not having them, well, the reason why I'm saying being selfish is that not having them means that you want all the spotlight on yourself <laughs> and just want to concentrate on your ways of life and your thinking. But at this point of time, um, in a way, I, I wouldn't say there's no truth in that yeah. because uh, I'm young, but I'm not very, very young. Yeah. Um, and uh, we all have a finite time here. Mm -hmm. So whatever days, months, or years that's left in my visa to be in this universe... At this point, I uh, want to concentrate on, on, on understanding life, myself, my spirit. Uh, just m be focused and concentrate more on that. And if I have another responsibility, I, I could be totally distracted from that. And, and, and my priority might have to be on some other things, and yeah. I would miss out on all those things. It would have been all right uh, if I had reached this point and got married when I was uh, <laughs> when I was an infant. <laughs> 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 then at this point, my children would have been all grown up all and grown gone. Up. Yeah. Uh, but considering the time remaining that I have, um, yeah, like, that's why I said it can be selfish. I want to devote more time on just. Uh, understanding life uh, and 
not being distracted by yeah. something else. Bahuju is okay with that as well. Yeah. It's a mutual discussion yeah. so far. She's okay. Uh, that's why I said it's not. It's not just my decision. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, things can turn around uh, quickly if one of us decides the other way. You know, yeah. uh, because I can't f force my view upon her. Like if it's only if she. Uh, it's so, okay with this, we can go on, but when she's not, then we might have to think of something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be cool. That'd be, and hey, that's going to be great, you know, yeah. when, you, when you think about it. You said, uh, you talked about something, I just want to dive into this, and uh, most probably we're going to wrap up in a while as well. I know your time is, well, all our yeah. times are limited I in know, this world. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. What, according to Rajesh Samal, what do you think happens when we die? What do you think that happens when we move out of here and move into some other I'm not going to get into this because I have my own theories. What do you think is going to happen? You know, there's a... In, in, in cases like this or in issues like this, you know, I'm always caught in a dichotomy. You know, I'm always <laughs> like ambivalent. I, it's so difficult to give you a, a one answer because like I said, you know, there's something that is rooted in my emotion and yeah. there's something else that my intellect tells me mm -hmm. and the practical side tells me you know and a lot of people are caught in in between their emotions which is connected with their faith and belief mm -hmm. and the practical aspects the knowledge that they've gathered the experience that they know the reality that they have found out or yeah. discovered or <laughs> or what their intellect is telling them so I'm like that too, you know, like, uh, I know, I'll, it's very soothing to believe in karma and believe in reincarnation and believing in what I do in this life would pay it be, you know, would be paid back in my next life. So mm -hmm. I should tread very consciously, wisely, honestly, nicely in this life. So my next life becomes very fruitful and all that. All that is wonderful, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice being connected. But my intellect tells me that we're gone, we're gone. Yeah. We're gone. Life has no meaning. Life has absolutely no meaning, you know. Like in Macbeth, Macbeth there's, a, the, 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 there's a line in between, you know, there's tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace and in the middle they say, that um, you know, life is but a walking shadow. Always, poor player. You know, life is a walking shadow. Poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It's a tale mm -hmm. told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. This is exactly what it is, you know, during our productive time when we have energy, when we are on this pathway of being very productive and, you know, all our dreams and uh, our goals are coming true, we are strutting and fretting on the stage. Yeah. We all have that phase, that period, where we are on the center stage, the spotlight is on us, we're energized, and we're strutting and fretting on the stage, but ultimately what happens? And then you have to get out of the stage one time or the other, sooner or later. Yeah. Your act is going to get over. And then you're heard no more. And then what happens? You become a tale. You know, once upon a time, there was this actor called Rajesh Hamal. And boy, they used to make so many jokes out of him. <laughs> and he was larger than life. And you know, they used to say that to to have his noodle, he used to get Sankar's uh, Trishul yeah. and all this. You know this? But when I'm gone, I'm gone. All these tales, people will be talking about my achievements and or your achievements or other people's achievement with all kind of sound and fury, but once we are gone, we're gone. It means nothing for us. But those tales will go on probably, you know? So that is life. Life actually does not have any meaning, you know. Therefore, each one of us has to give our own meaning to life, you know. We have to find our own space, own meaning, own path. True. Because 
And like, it's, it's not a formula, it's not a, like, you put two plus two, then you'll get four. Yeah. There's no such thing for life. You know what's going to happen? I know what's going to happen, I'm going to see this right at the end. What's going to happen? You're going to be a startup on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the science and the scientists will tell you that stars are made of completely <laughs> different elements. <laughs> Oh, Rajasar, this was yeah. this was this was the best podcast we've done in our in uh, in the history of uh, the beginning of the podcast really? uh, scene in the country. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. You know, I liked it because you know we were talking about so many other things besides just your profession or my oh, profession. No. Yeah. You know, did this you enjoy it? I, you had fun. I, yes, I think basically we're just what were we? I mean, we're just being humans, right? Yeah. That's it. We're just being humans, you That's know. It. We have our flaws. We have our positive points. We have our good points. There's some people who will love us. <laughs> There's some people who will hate us. <laughs> There's some people who will em- embrace us. There's some people who doesn't want, you know, who don't want to touch us. Yeah. And that's all fine. That's all that's great. All great. We're all humans, you know. Let's appreciate everyone's uh, opinion, views. Uh, that's why I can tolerate you because <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Rajasai. I love you, and uh, it's uh, it's going to be a pleasure to have you back any day. Great, thank you very uh, much. Pleasure, for your Sanjay. Time, sir. Pleasure, Sanjay. It was nice, nice talking to you. Thank you very much, sir. Great. All right, everybody. See ya. This episode is brought to you by Pulsar. This episode is brought to you by Pulsar.